Hi everyone, my name is Lara from Lara G Yoga and this week I am collaborating with Dr. Melissa West on a video for neck pain. If you are new to Melissa's lifestyle channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe because she is constantly putting out really great content that is going to add so much to your practice and your daily life. What I do on my channel is I use my whiteboard which I call my yoga board to outline different concepts or ideas to talk about anatomy or philosophy and then tie that into a yoga practice. So Melissa has asked me to put together a practice for the neck. So to start our practice to warm up the neck muscles we're going to go through some active range of motion with our breath. And this is just going to start out with a very important movement of looking up. Sometimes we don't get to spend very much time looking up during the day. And then as you exhale, bringing the chin down. As you go through that movement, just noticing if the shoulders try to follow you. We're actually trying to keep the shoulders pretty still so that the neck moves independently. And then we'll do the same thing over to the side. Turn to one side, inhale back into center, Exhale, turn to the other side. Make sure that the outside shoulder doesn't try to follow you around. We want to pin that back. And then the last movement is side to side. So we rock the ear over to the shoulder and then over to the other side. Working on getting that blood flow so that the muscles are ready for that deeper stretch. And then bringing the arms into it, we're going to reach forward and then pull back, squeeze the elbows back, squeeze the head back. We tighten the whole trapezius muscle and then round forward, tuck the chin, open it up, squeeze and press out. Good, last one like that. As you come back into sitting, take some big shoulder rolls. And even though this isn't a neck movement specifically, so many of the muscles crisscross the neck and the shoulder joint. So they're really strongly tied together. And this will help those muscles that go up and into the neck. Okay, so now we're going to rock the head over to the left side. I'm gonna take my left hand and just rest it on the side of the head and then bring the right arm out right from the shoulder. creating this sense of lengthening out through the arm. And this is where we're getting into the longer held stretch, trying to create space. Take your exhale, let your fingers drop down. Let that draw your shoulder down. And you may even be able to press the palm toward the floor or toward your blanket. Okay, we're going to change the angle of the stretch very slightly by turning down toward your armpit. And this gets a little muscle from the back of the neck toward the shoulder blade that a lot of times gets tight. Good. Take your inhale, come back up into center, and then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Head rocks over to the side very gently. Just rest the hand on the side of the head. Left arm comes out to lengthen. Sweep the fingers down. Use that to draw your shoulder blade down. And then maybe even pressing with the palm to open up more space. Now a little turn with the head. Look down toward the floor. Release the head and come back up. 
Now let's take the hands and clasp them behind the back with the fingers interlaced into yoga mudra. And this is going to help us to press the knuckles down toward the floor. You'll feel how that drops the shoulder blades down. This gives us a lot more control and focus in which neck muscle we're trying to stretch. So we'll start by rocking the head over toward the side. Keep the opposite shoulder dropped down. And then we're going to do a half circle forward and over to the other side. And then another half circle forward and over. Good, lifting back up. See if you can press the knuckles down farther, drop the shoulders down farther. Inhale, use that space to lengthen the neck up. This is like an active decompression of the cervical spine. And then we'll take the hands and bring them over to the right side of the body, just bending the elbows, drop your head to the right. And this time looking up, see if you can find that particular area where you find tightness in this part of the neck. Come back into center. We'll bring the hands into center, press the elbows straight and drop the knuckles down. We'll come over to the other side. The hands are interlaced on my left hip now and then I'm going to drop the head over to the side, but this time we're going to look slightly up. And like I said earlier, we don't spend nearly as much time looking up as we do looking down, so this might be particularly tight. And then back around to the center, release the arms, relax the shoulders, shake the hands out. Now for the decompression, we're going to hang in a forward bend. So this is not recommended if you have something like vertigo or you get dizzy very easily, but if you don't have either of those issues, we're going to come down into a forward bend and hold on to the back of the skull, just like we did before right at the ridge at the base of the skull. Gentle rock and nod. Let the arms relax down. See how easily you can release the weight of the head down. You can add some movement side to side, up and down, circles. Weight of the head is very soft. Okay, come back up, hold on to the base of the skull, and just very gently tuck the weight of the head in toward you. And release, let the head hang. Adding movements if you feel like you need movement. and then carefully walk yourself back up. One of the ways that I really like to work on strengthening for the neck is by working with a wall. And this gives us an opportunity to just check our posture, see how easily the head can land on the wall, and then see if you have a natural curve behind your neck. Now let's start to create some pressure with the head back into the wall. How much pressure you create is completely up to you. It's up to your level of comfort with these muscles. Good, so I'm pressing for about five seconds and then I relax. And I'm going to keep that pressure back against the wall. Rock my head toward the right. Keeping the left shoulder pulled back toward the wall. This is where the, the wall becomes a really nice reference point. And then we'll go to the other side. Waking up those muscles that maybe don't always work the way that we need them to. Come back into center, press straight back. And then this time we're going to pull the arms into it as well. 
because like I was saying before, a lot of the neck muscles come down and cross the shoulders. So when we incorporate the shoulders into this movement, creating pressure back from the top of the arm bone, from the elbows and from the back of the head, we're creating a lot of strength in the upper back to hold us in this good posture. Okay, and then rest. Okay, one more like that. Press the head back to the wall, pull the shoulders back, press the elbows back, hold that effort. And then relax. Okay, now let's go down onto the mat for a moment. We're going to do a little strength movement here, which is surprisingly challenging. We're going to try to lift our head up off the mat now, if that felt really hard, you're going to take your hands and do a little bit of the work with your arms because our heads are heavy. So you're going to tuck the chin, lift your head up just an inch away from the mat, a little bit of support with the hands. And you feel the muscles in the front of the neck working, our deep neck flexors. And then whenever you need to, lowering down and taking a break. So then we go back to that process of gentle rocking, releasing that effort when it's no longer needed. Thank you so much for joining me for this therapeutic yoga practice to work on the neck. If you enjoyed this practice, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to follow Melissa's lifestyle channel. And if you haven't practiced with me before, go over to my YouTube channel, Large Yoga, and check out some of the other therapeutic practices on there. I hope to practice with you again in the future. Thank you.